It sounds like a ship. It's as big as a ship. But it's a tank. And it will crush anything that gets in its way. In the midst of World War II, Hitler pushed for the creation of one of the most powerful weapons of all time, a battleship on land, to combat the rise of Soviet armor and technology, a backbone for Germany's conquest, to put all of Europe in fear. But what exactly is the Land Cruiser P-1000 Drac? The development history of the P-1000 originated with a strategic study of Soviet heavy tanks in 1941, most notably the T-34 medium tank, conducted by the Krupp Steelworks Company. The study also led to the designing of the Maus 8, which is still the biggest tank the German military has built to this date. The officer for submarine construction, Director Eduard Groh, proposed the construction of a 1,000-ton tank in June 1942 to Adolf Hitler, known for being megalomaniacs. He fell in love with Groth's proposal and ordered the Krupp company to begin designing the P-1000. In December 1942, when the first design drawings were completed, the concept had been given the name Rat. The P-1000 would have been a real battleship on land, 39 meters long, 14 meters width, and 11 meters high. The Rat was supposed to weigh over 1,000 tons. The operational range was to have been 190 kilometers, and the hull was to carry armor up to 25 centimeters. To support its weight, the P-1000 was designed to have three sets of tracks and two meters ground clearance. The vehicle was designed to be propelled by either two 24-cylinder MAN engines or a 20-cylinder Daimler-Benz marine diesel engines, generating between 16,000 and 17,000 horsepower, giving the RAT a maximum speed of 40 km per hour. The RAT's primary weapon would have been a dual 280mm naval gun turret, also used on German battleships. Further armament was to consist of a 128mm anti-tank gun, of the type used in the mouse, two 15mm Mosser autocannons, and eight 20mm Flak 38 anti-aircraft guns. Since the Rat would have been so huge, it would have been vulnerable to Allied air attack. But like many of these so-called miracle weapons, the P-1000 was extremely impractical. Its immense weight mean that it couldn't travel over bridges or roads. Therefore, the engine were to have been equipped with snorkels to allow it to move through deep water without drowning the engines. Also, the tactical positioning of the vehicle would depend solely on its own drivetrain, as there were no other realistic means of moving it from one firing position to another. No existing railway could bear its weight, and its width was too great for tunnels. The turret of the Rat prototype was completed in 1943. Shortly after, however, the project was cancelled by Albert Speer on account of production cost and improper use before any were fully completed. Although this did lead to the concept of the Land Cruiser P-1500 Monster, which would have been even heavier than the Rat and be propelled with the 800mm heavy Gustav. The general idea for such a big tank was summed up by Heinz Guderian, saying that Hitler's fantasies sometimes shift into the gigantic.